Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here, back with an update for the past week and a half of drama entertainment news. Let's start with dramas that recently premiered. First aired on August 13th, this is a Republican Tencent short web series called Strange Tales of Jiang Chen. It stars Sha Zhu Guang and Caesar Wu. This drama was actually filmed at the end of 2021, but with the release of Dashing Youth and it doing pretty well, they probably decided to use this time to drop this drama, which stars Sha Zhu Guang as well. In this one, he plays a charming psychologist that just came back from Europe and he ends up solving a case with the male lead on the train. They kind of bump heads at first, not the best of friends, but eventually they work together on solving cases. And because of the shorter pacing, it's been quite enjoyable so far. There's been lots of cases, and I think the bromance is fun in this one. It reminds me so much of my roommate is a detective, so if you're missing that type of vibe, I recommend this drama. Then Yuku's Escape from the Trilateral Slopes aired. This one has the same director and scriptwriter of Madhouse, which worked on Reset, which is one of my favorite dramas ever. So this is going on my plan to watch. It stars Guo Qilin, who you might know as Fan Suja from Joy of Life series. And he lives in an area where it's run by both black and white people. So you have the good side, but also people in the morally gray. And he's in the crossfire and ends up being connected well to both sides. It aired on the 16th and it has 21 episodes with quite high ratings so far from Chinese netizens. On August 20th, we have a short or mini drama. This is a costume romance starring Hushwan Lin, who you might know as the sister character in The Starry Love, and Richard Lee, who is quite popular in this space. Male lead is the immortal perceptor. He's basically like the royal shaman, I guess. And depending on the personality of the king this one is very superstitious like he is actually the one with the most power and female lead is about to marry the crown prince however um he kind of dabbles in it um the male lead and he wants to take her for himself i have checked out the first two episodes male lead's a little bit too toxic for me but um, it's probably just because I haven't seen this type of um, character in a drama for so long. So I'm like, whoa, hold up. But I heard from viewers it gets better. And I mean, it's kind of fun because I don't know what his intentions are and I'm curious to find out. Female lead has the short end of the stick when it comes to personality, character, writing but hopefully it changes since there's still quite a few more episodes until I catch up. The female lead also has a, another drama that's currently airing and it's called Love and Bid Farewell. In the same vein, a mini or short length web series. And this one is focused on her getting revenge for her family and trying to seduce or get close to the prince. The Starry Love is one of my favorite dramas, so that's why I have such a good impression of her. I think I'll check out this one as well. But I'll wait until Are You The One is done and then I'll really feel empty, so I'll pick this one up. I also started the next drama that aired, which is Go East, and this one stars Tan Shan Si and Zhou Yi Ran. It's a costume drama comedy mystery. It has 37 episodes and aired on August 23rd on iQiyi. This one is quite fun so far. Han Jian Su's character here is so different from what I've seen him in. And especially after Lost You Forever, I'm definitely craving some more of his costume dramas. If you're a fan of him, check it out because it is a very different side to him. He's like goofy, he's basically a walking meme. It's been pretty fun so far. Last but not least, it has been confirmed that Mango TV will release the first ep of Chang Le Chu, starring Ding Yu Shi and Deng An Shi, 
on the 26th. This is also a mystery romance, but it's heavy on the palace setting. And it's a setup between the male lead and the female lead's character's third sister, who is bestowed a marriage between her family and the male lead. However, she runs away, leaving the female lead to have to replace her or else her whole family is going to be executed because it is a crime to go against the imperial family, especially once it's officially announced to the world. This looks pretty good. I've seen the trailer. I like Ding Yushi's romances. He's so good at micro expressions. And this looks a little bit angsty too. Mao Zedong is great as well. He plays the second lead and he has his own um, romance with Xiao Yan. For wrap-ups this week, we have Serendipity. It stars Wang Zixi and Lu Yuxiao. We also got some new posters and stills for The Eternal Fragrance, an upcoming romance fantasy drama starring Song Wei Long and Zhu Jingyi. Zhu Jingyi will be playing an immortal character and male lead has some powers and martial arts abilities, but essentially he's just human and he gets dragged in between the war between the mortals. Love Game in Eastern Fantasy, formerly known as The Guide to Capturing a Black Lotus, starring Esther Yu and Ding Yuxi, shares new stills as their reservations went past 2 million. This is a transmigrational story with a bigger budget, which I'm excited for. We haven't gotten one of those for a while now. We had like the smaller um, budget ones, but I'm happy this is coming back. It sounds super fun. This is about a woman who wrote a book review and she hated it. So she got transported into the book where she's actually the supporting role. And her task is to make heroine's younger brother fall in love with her. Sounds interesting. Next is the continuation of some of the Chishi posters I didn't talk about last time. So first is Fox Spirit Matchmaker Love in the Pavilion. This stars Liu Shishu and Zhang Yunlong. Honestly, a lot of the expectations and hype died down around the series after they saw the horrendous first chapter. But because of the casting, I will still check it out when it comes out. But the posters do look good, so I'll give them that. Love of Nirvana is the next one. It stars Alan Wren and Lee Landy. She's been on a roll since Starry Love and I'm so happy for her. A Dream Within a Dream starring Lee Yitong and Liu Yuning release some stills and videos. Similar to the love game in Eastern fantasy one, this is a transmigrational series and it's a comedy where female lead in the original novel had a very bad ending. So the first thing she does when she realizes is plan her escape route, but unfortunately she can't and she has to be the hero for him to end up falling for her and changing up the ending. I'm looking forward for Liu Yuning's performance. He sprinkled a couple of humorous moments in A Journey to Love and that's because of the setup and of the group dynamic, but I feel like we'll have some fun moments with him here. It's a different side to him for sure. We have what I believe is the first stills of Shadow Love, which stars Song Yi and Cheng Lei. This is a political romance and it reminds me so much of a reverse version of Are You The One where the male lead is someone prominent but he lost all his memories, is rescued by the female lead, but he slowly gets his memories back and then dramatic angst things happen Peng Sha Ren and Ren Jia Lin's upcoming romance costume drama called Phoenix Stage release this for Qi Shi and the last three are all modern romances so first one is a love song in winter starring Huang Jingyu and Sun Qian Despite the cutesy um, posters, it's actually very interesting because it's a thriller mystery where female lead and a detective are working together. Uncover the truth 
behind happened eight years ago and you find out like a lot of people in her life are actually related to this case and this all happens because one night she was working the night shift when she bumped into her friend who's supposed to be unalived it's been a mystery for years but all of a sudden now are digging it back up and because she's a friend and she's working with the detective they're realizing like everyone who they're kind of close to is somehow involved we have a smell code starring lin yi and shen yue which is a very cute and fun setup where the female lead is someone who's funny and she's trying to be an actress while the male lead is someone with a condition who really can't laugh it's described as a sweet and healing romance comedy and last but not least is you are my lover friend starring steven zhang xin cheng and wang yu wen last but not least let's get to the celebrity news portion and the main item that dropped this week was Someone accused Joy of Life and Fighting for Love actor Zhang Haowei of tax evasion and plus being a PIMP. So these are very serious allegations and I honestly can't speak much about it because um, apparently his studio released a statement saying everything was false and they are denying everything they're working with the police right now so if we hear about it it's going to be from an official statement or if he gets pulled off like um some of the other actors that got blacklisted that's how you know but right now very early investigation stage i'm guessing lots of he said she said and they're gathering all the evidence from both sides but if he isn't proven innocent then here are some of his upcoming dramas that might be affected first one is brocade odyssey starring seven tan and zhang ye cheng then he has a drama with wang churen and tan jian si and of course there's the drama joy of life season three and i think season three to five so he has a major role, but they can obviously replace him with a new face, just like they did to Xiao Zhan or other characters. Same goes for the other dramas. He's either going to be edited out or probably they have to refilm and postpone everything. For Joy of Life though, they are still in the scripting stage, so they haven't filmed anything for season three. The rumors were they're gonna film season three to four back to back let me know your thoughts on anything we discussed what's your favorite airing drama right now and what's a drama on this list that you haven't started but you're interested in